Day everyone. Well, a bit of an unexpected surprise. The beast is still here. It's still working fine. I can actually get it to run with the door still open. Uh, I did end up replacing the uh, interlock switch since that was, or well, this one was faulty for the fact that it didn't actually have to be on the machine for it to still work. But I got a new one in and the good thing is I can actually make the door run open with the, the new one on. All you got to do is just push it in like that and now the machine will think the door's open. So set it on spin. I put a whole load of water in it just to uh, test the pump and everything. And I've also worked out a way to get rid of the squeaky door boot seal. And it just involves uh, Ajax. I'll just set that to spin and start. There it goes. Yeah, there was a bit of uh, detergent left in it. I've uh, been cleaning this machine out since it absolutely stank when I first saw it. But it's working though. And I also have uh, discovered a leak down here which is a bit uh, disappointing, but oh well. I will uh, inform my uncle about that and possibly get him to put some silicon around it or something. <coughs> Never seen a machine on YouTube do this before. Oh yeah, that's all I did. You just push the uh, switch in so it thinks it's on even though the door's open. Oh yeah, it's just running the, uh, the spin part of the um, cycle. Since it's the most interesting part. Yeah, get a little bit of speed up. Yeah, the belt's a bit, uh, a bit old, it's squeaking a little bit, but I might be able to get a new one from another machine or something. Yeah, I'm still curious on what uh, type of motor it is. It's some kind of frequency motor, but it's got windings like an induction motor, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, I can definitely tell it's not a three-phase motor for the fact that there's only three wires going to it. If it was a three-phase, there'd be four. Getting a bit of speed up. using that as a loop at the moment since I don't have any uh or I don't really want to put oil or anything on it but it's at least stopping it squeaking yeah it's still going still doesn't give a shit the door's open <coughs> this is the uh LG Intello washer it's one of the more expensive machines I know it's um this is the predecessor of the ones with the universal motors in them but apparently according to my uncle, this one was the more expensive machine of the two. My grandpa's got one of the uh, the universal type, but yeah, it doesn't matter what motor's in them, they're still fun to play with. Now the camera's showing some funny things. It's time for a bit more lube. There we go. Spin cycle at last. How about its own uh, interlock switch? That's a good uh, vibration test. It makes funny noise when you pour water in it while it's open. Ah, uh, come face in. Put a 
Dublin machine. Yeah, it's the same setup as our last time. Water in, drain hose. That's not connected, that's for our hot water. And now we're down the uh, driver board. Don't know what that's for. Now to also talk that nut up since it was hot when I first did it up, so. working though. We've got more foam. Where's that rag? Oh, that's right. Fill the drum. Quite loud. I just couldn't help myself then. Oh look, cockroach. Who oh, is gonna be uh getting a bit of a bouncy ride right there? Not even a whisper. At this point it started um squeaking. Is Mr. Cockroach going? As long as he doesn't end up on the uh drive motor, he should be right. But yeah, that's what your washing machine looks like when you take the covers off. Where are you, Mr. Cockroach? Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh, he's probably down inside there. Oh, well. Still going. We're at three minutes now. Yep, that thing broke again. Not even a whisper, apart from the motor and the agitators and that belt. Still going. Hmm. Thanks for watching.